Blue Plate Special, Wikipedia Article Audio Blue Plate Special or Blue Plate Special is a term used in the United States and Canada by restaurants, especially diners, and cafes. It refers to a low-priced meal that usually changes daily. The term was very common from the 1920s through the 1950s. As of 2007, there are still a few restaurants and diners that offer blue plate specials under that name, sometimes on blue plates, but it is a vanishing tradition. The phrase itself, however, is still a common American colloquialism. History Contemporary Usage A web collection of 1930s prose gives this definition, a blue plate special is a low-priced daily diner special, a main course with all the fixins, a daily combo, a square for two bits. The origin and explanation of the phrase are unclear. Kevin Reed says that during the Depression, a manufacturer started making plates with separate sections for each part of a meal like a frozen dinner tray it seems that for whatever reason they were only available in the color blue. Michael Quinion cites a dictionary entry indicating that the blue plates were, more specifically, inexpensive divided plates that were decorated with a blue willow or similar blue pattern, such as those popularized by Spode and Wedgwood. One of his correspondents says that the first known use of the term is on an October 22, 1892 Fred Harvey Company restaurant menu and implies that blue plate specials were regular features at Harvey houses. The term became common starting in the late 1920s. A May 27, 1926 advertisement in the New York Times for the famous Old Sea Grill Lobster and Chop House at 141 West 45th Street promised a la carte all hours, moderate prices, and blue plate specials. A December 2, 1928 article, lamenting the rise in prices that had made it difficult to dine on a dime praised an Ann Street establishment where one could still get a steak and lots of onion sandwich for a dime and a big blue plate special, with meat course and three vegetables, is purchasable for a quarter, just as it has been for the last ten years. The first book publication of Damon Runyon's story, Little Miss Marker, was in a 1934 collection entitled Damon Runyon's Blue Plate Special. A Hollywood columnist wrote in 1940, Every time Spencer Tracy enters the Metro Commissary, executives and minor geniuses look up from their blue plate specials to look at the actor and marvel. No substitutions was a common policy on blue plate specials. One 1947 Candid Microphone episode features Alan Funt ordering a blue plate special and trying to talk the waiter into making various changes, such as replacing the vegetable soup with consomme, while the polite but increasingly annoyed waiter tries in vain to explain to Funt that no substitutions means what it says. Our Man in Havana by Graham Greene has the following exchange regarding an American blue plate lunch. Surely you know what a blue plate is, man? They shove the whole meal at you under your nose, already dished up on your plate roast turkey, cranberry sauce, sausages, and carrots and French fried. I can't bear French fried but there's no pick and choose with a blue plate, no pick and choose you eat what you're given. That's democracy, man. In events In contemporary usage, a blue plate special can be any inexpensive full meal, any daily selection, or merely a whimsical phrasing. Travel columnist Wayne Curtis says that a Portland, Maine eatery offers budget blue plate specials along with more refined fare. Boston Children's Museum presents a participatory theater show, sponsored by health insurer Blue Cross, 
which teaches good nutrition, the show is called Blue Plate Special. In Film and Television Workman's Blue Plate Special is a monthly e-cookbook club, bringing you specially discounted and free e-books from an award-winning collection of cookbooks. The WDVX Blue Plate Special is an almost daily lunchtime concert at the Knoxville Visitors Center, broadcasting on the East Tennessee radio station WDVX. The Turner South Cable Channel calls a daily movie selection, scheduled at lunchtime, its Blue Plate Special. In the 1973 film The Sting, Robert Redford's character Johnny Kelly Hooker orders the Blue Plate special at the diner. In the 1974 film The Front Page, condemned killer Earl Williams is said to be getting a 95-cent Blue Plate special from the greasy spoon across the street for his last meal. In print Richard Bernstein titled his New York Times review of Andrew Hulley's book Diners, Bowling Alleys, and Trailer Parks, the Red, White, and Blue Plate Special. Mystery writer Abigail Paget's second novel about amateur sleuth Blue McCarran is titled The Last Blue Plate Special, No Meals Here, the Blue Plates are part of the decor at a clinic where patients are dying mysteriously. Road food experts Jane and Michael Stern titled their guidebook Blue Plate Specials and Blue Ribboned Chefs, The Heart and Soul of America's Great Roadside Restaurants.